After years of just working in general computer repair, I, uh, I kind of realized I needed to get a college degree. And when I started looking around, computer science seemed really interesting. It was actually partially hands-on and partially um, research. And so that really interested me. Uh, my older brother, um, he's a computer scientist. He does uh, web development as well as embedded programming for uh, various Linux projects and robotics, so that was a pretty major influence. Um, there have been a few different teachers there that have been really influential on helping me. Yeah, there's a Dr. Winters who did the, my first programming classes. I was really scared to do any type of programming, and his lecturing style and you know showing the, the different students how easy it was to get into basic programming really helpful in me feeling like that's something I could actually do instead of it being just like a big, you know, a big block and something I wouldn't be able to understand and do. So that was very helpful. My specialty in particular, um, I would be working anywhere between um, like government, NSA, FBI, CAA, doing um, investigation on computer crimes. Um, the computer science part of it is really helpful. Actually, I was literally just this past last week at a conference with a lot of people that were developing free software tools um, to automate a lot of the process and get a lot of the investigation out of the way. So that's the type of job I would be looking at. Um, I know some of the other friends of mine that do exactly the same thing. They do a lot of network security work, and so a lot of their programming is doing uh, security testing on computer networks. Well, I, uh, depending on the amount of projects I have, it depends, it, it determines how much time is spent just looking around at what other people have done for work and getting ideas or actually having to try to implement solutions. Like, that's what I feel like the difference between computer programmers now and what they were 10, 15 years ago is a lot of your time is spent figuring out how to adapt a program that's already made. So I spent a lot, you spend a lot of time if you have a uh, need to make code, a lot of it's not actually doing programming, but figuring out how to use um, something that's already made to fit you, what your problem is. So I'd say typically if I've got a project, I could spend, you know, probably only really like half of the time is actually spent <laughs> doing actual physical work on the computer, or, you know, typing in, coding things, and the other half is spent doing research. So a lot of it is down to be able to research and use your time properly to, you know, see what you need to do, not actually necessarily, you know, actually spending time putting in code into a computer. That's only 